What's good, guys? It's Attack on Samurai, and <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, here is another Wi-Fi battle for you guys. This is Wi-Fi battle number seventy, and this is against uh, Slybat. I think it was in a stream that I had that I battled him. Well, not that I had, but it was in a stream that I was that uh. Dang it! <laughs> How should I say this? It was in a stream that um that I was in. I actually don't remember who the streamer was. I think it was a new streamer. I think his name was like Hippo Hawk or something. Or it was... I think it was him actually that I uh, battled that I battled this guy in. So I was looking for Wi-Fi battles and stuff. I mean for OU battles. And he wanted to battle me. So yeah, so this is his team. He has a uh, Mega Metacham, um, Escadrille, Mew, uh, Clefable, Volcanion. So this is the second Volcanion I've actually battled for the um that I've actually battled and a uh Kieran Black uh, which is still really cool um <sighs> sorry about that I had to stop for a few seconds but um anyways again this is team Mega uh, Mega Metacham Escadrille Mew Clefable Volcanion and Kieran Black while I have a new team that I'm showing off this time um, with, uh, Entei, I mean, with Assault Vest Entei, uh, Mega Slowbro, um, Offensive, uh, Sylveon, uh, with a Cleric, um, with a Cleric set, um, D-Dance, uh, Zygarde, um, Support, I mean, pff, Bulky, Support, Crobat, and a, uh, very fast Metagross with Stealth Rock, so, uh, I mean, with Stealth Rock and, uh, Life Orb. So it's a pretty, pretty much like a, like a bulky offensive team, um, that I wanted to build. So, yeah, um, it's definitely a weird team. <laughs> Looks more like a UU team to be honest, but it's still a pretty, pretty awesome team that just like packs a huge punch. Um, that you'll see in this game actually. So let's get into it. My bad, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> um, let's get into it. So if I remember correctly, I think he starts off with Escadrille. Uh, no, I lied. He started off, he started off with his uh, Kieran Black. So he starts off with Kieran Black as I start off with Braces, my Entei. So pretty much the only thing I had to fear is the Earth Power or a Draco that could come in. So I pretty much made the uh, play to just stay in um, with Entei. Because again, it was Assault Vested. So it's Assault Vest Entei, so it could take hits pretty well. And as you can see, it took that Draco Meteor very well. Um, I mean somewhat well, and it was life or boosted. So I go for the sacred fire. Sacred fire is going to do a huge amount. Um, it actually gets the burn right there, and that burn mattered so much. I mean, it's going to matter a little bit later on in the game. Um, but he's going to switch out, going to go into something that wants to take a sacred fire, which is I think the uh Volcanion actually. So he brings Volcanion in on the switch in. As I actually go flame charge, um, right here. So I go for the for the uh, flame charge, it doesn't really do that much. Um, of course, I go for the stone edge, see how much I do with it. And stone edge does um, about 80% actually, actually 70 percent ish. So he goes for the steam eruption. I had a feeling that I could live it, so I stayed in, but I didn't live it. Um, so yeah, there goes Entei. Entei is still putting in a huge amount of work though on his offensive mons. So I'm gonna bring an instigator, my crowbat, go for the brave bird, and just finish off this uh, volcanion uh, right here. So, I finish off the Volcanion right there. So, Volcanion drops, which is huge because Volcanion has such it has such an immense offensive presence. So, getting rid of it um, early game was very good for me. So, now he's going to bring in the Escadrille, which I believe is Choice Scarf, the way he brought it in. I mean, which I believe he actually ran a Choice Scarf. Um, so, yeah, he actually is Choice Scarf Escadrille. He goes for the Iron Head. That does a huge amount of damage to me. I go for the U-Turn play right here. Um, get off a decent, I mean, get off some chip damage on Escadrill, and then switch into, a uh, Slowbro. All uh, right here. So, yeah, I bring in Big, my, uh, Slowbro. Um, as he's pretty much forced to, uh, switch out Escadrill and go into something that wants to take a hit, like Mew or Clefable. So, he actually does bring in the Mew right here, as I get off the Mega Evolution, and I believe I want Skull. Um, just to see... I mean, just because that was the best play for me, to, for me to make, so yeah, I had to go for the skull play, and skull does 
there's a decent amount to it. Doesn't get the burn. If it did get the burn, um, it would have actually mattered quite a bit. Um, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered that much because I did have um, I did have heal um heal bell on my uh, Sylveon. So even if I even if he did burn me, it wouldn't have mattered. But um, Skull still does a decent amount though. Um, whittling down the Mew quite a bit. Um, but still, after Lefty, he's just going to be back in the green. So I'm going to uh, switch out Slowbro since I can't really touch this uh, Mew. And go into Happy, my Sylveon, just in case he wanted to go for like Willow or something. So he actually does go for the Willow Wisp. Um, so I think actually I made that play because I was predicting... I think I was kind of like thinking about going Zygarde, but I didn't want to go Zygarde because I had a feeling that he was going to go Willow, so that's why I switched into Sylveon to take it. So I'm going to switch out Sylveon, going to go, now I bring in Zygarde, because I knew he wasn't going to go for Willow Wisp again. So I bring in Zygarde as he actually goes for the taunt play, uh, which was something I didn't really think about. So um, it kind of does suck that he did get that taunt off right there, but... I think pretty much he has to go Earthquake right here. Um, I probably could have made a better play and just went. Out. No, actually, no. Earthquake was the was the a better play for me because if I went Outrage, then it would have forced in uh, Clefable. So I made the right play going Earthquake. I do get my uh, my Lumberry actually activates and now I'm not burned anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. But I had a feeling that another Earthquake would take it out, so that's why I went for Earthquake again. And Earthquake uh, does the damage, but barely barely takes out the Mew. The Mew lives on 1 HP. So I was just done because that that just basically told me that Mew is bulky as heck in defense. That it was able to live that earthquake uh, very, at such low health. But Zygarde so is burned which kind of sucks but I do have Heal Bell on my uh, Sylveon so it doesn't matter too much. But now I bring in Cross Marion, my uh, Mew, predicting a switch in into Clefable actually. So Actually, Metachamp comes in, which is pretty huge, actually. So, Metachamp comes in, Mega Evolves right off the bat, and it just goes for the craziest thing. It literally just goes for the, um, it Mega Evolves, goes for the High Jump Kick, and High Jump Kick just nukes Metagross, j just like that. Just like that. <laughs> so, that was actually really crazy, um, that it actually took, that it took out my, uh, that took out Metagross that easily, but um, it actually does suck though that Metagross goes down because if I had Meta, if I still had Meta, then um, late game, then things would have changed a lot. But anyways, I'm gonna get off the roost with Crobat. I mean, with Instigator, my Crobat. Gonna get up to about full, um, as I believe that he just goes Iron Head again on the switch in. Okay, no, he goes, he goes a uh, Earthquake predicting a switch in. So I go U-turn. Uh, right here chipping down the escadrille a little bit more um and this time i bring big back in i think i think i bring big back in. no i bring in happy actually because i wanted to get the heal bell off since he was uh since he was a uh, twist into the into the earthquake so i had a feeling that happy could definitely live a hit from it um since it does have a ton of um investment in hp and such so he goes earthquake right off the bat and earthquake does a huge amount i barely live that i get the heal bell off and now Zygarde isn't burned anymore, which is very, very good. And also, um, and also Happy isn't burned as well. So I'm actually very glad I got that off right there. Um, so now I'm gonna switch out Happy. Um, I think Happy was actually gonna be used later as a uh, as a sack play. So I bring in uh, Mega Slowbro right here. He goes Earthquake again. Um, since again he is choice scarfed into it, so he goes Earthquake. Earthquake does a good amount. Um, he goes Earthquake again, and I think he gets a crit right here. Uh, no, he doesn't get a crit. I actually went Psychic, predicting him to switch into the, uh... I think I was predicting a switch into, uh, Clefable, I think. But he goes Earthquake again. Does a lot. I get the Slack off, um, off right there. Uh, get back to about, uh, 80%-ish. Uh, so pretty much, uh, <laughs> pretty much Slowbro's in a pretty good position. So now he's gonna bring in, uh, the, uh... He's gonna bring this back in, um, as I just go Psychic again. No, wait, no, I go Skull, never mind. So I go for the Skull as he sacks his, uh, Kieran B right here. So it's more on his part to do that. Um, so Kieran B drops, uh, which is huge, but, I mean, it's not really that huge because that was a sack, that was just a sack play, and he couldn't really do that much with it anyway. 
So he brings Medicham back in. Um, who can, again, put on some decent pressure. I decided to switch out. Probably not the best play for me. I could have just went for Skull, but I guess I was making a prediction. I think I was making a prediction, actually. Um, I think it was a prediction into... I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was Clefable, maybe, or... No, I think it was Mew. I think it was Mew, actually, but... We're gonna go for the Brave Bird right here, and there goes the Medicham. So Medicham drops to this Brave Bird, which is huge, very, very huge, that Medicham drops, because that Medicham was putting in a lot of work. So, it drops. I take a huge amount of, uh... I mean, I take a decent amount of, uh, recurl damage right there. He's gonna bring Escadrill in right now, and I believe he goes Stealth Rock. I think. I think he goes Stealth Rock, or he just goes Iron Head again. Uh, no, he goes Iron Head again, and Iron Head is going to do a lot, and I think he got the flinch right here. No, he didn't get the flinch, but I go Brave Bird. Um, wanting, wanting to whittle this down as much as possible, so Brave Bird does a good amount to it. Um, and now I think I just switch into, uh, I think I switch back into, into the, uh, Slowbro. Yeah, I just switch back into Slowbro right here. So, yeah, I bring Big back in. As now, I think he goes through the Earth. I think he, no, he's still a Choice Scarf, what am I saying? But he goes Iron Knight again, and is still doing a good amount to it. He actually got a crit right there, so I actually, it actually didn't catch my mind until then. But I realized that, oh, snap, he's got Mole Breaker. That means he can get a crit on my, uh, on my Slowbro. So I was actually a bit paranoid by that, but I go for the Psychic play just in case he would have switched into, like, Clefable or something. And Mew drops to the Psychic, which is pretty huge. So now he brings in Nia Temple in, which is the, um, the Clefable, which is pretty disheartening, actually, because Clefable is going to set up all over my face, and there is nothing I can really do besides try and do something. <laughs> so... I get big up to about um, to about full now. Well, actually, at full, I switch out. I bring in uh, Instigator. No, actually, no. I bring in Zygarde. Never mind. So I bring in Zygarde because I had a feeling that oh, it can live a Moonblast. I'm um, at this range, and also I had a feeling that uh, they could live like they can live it at plus two. So again, he's setting up all over my face with this Calm Mind. Um, pretty much saying, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna set up all over your face. I go for the Earthquake. Um, just see how much I do with how much I would do with it, and it only is about 40%. He goes Moonblast again, and he goes Moonblast now, and it nukes my uh, Zygarde. So Zygarde drops. Nothing I can really do at this point besides hopefully try and get like a crit or something with Instigator. Um, since Big can't really touch this at all, so I bring an Instigator now, and I just go for the Brave Bird and just hope for the best. Um, so I go for it. I don't get a crit, but I get a huge amount of damage on it. As he goes for Moonblast, and that nukes, and that takes out my Instigator. So Instigator drops right there. And now all I have left is Mega Slowbro, uh, which again really can't touch anything at all. I mean, which really can't touch this uh, Clefable at all at this range. So uh, yeah, pretty much I just give him the forfeit. Oh, actually no, I don't give him the forfeit. I actually try to make him work for it a little bit. So. He goes Moonblast, and it's going to do a little under half. He gets the special attack drop, which sucks, but I go for the Psychic. Hopefully try and get a crit or something. Don't get the crit. No special D drop, and it just sits, it just looks at me and just laughs at the Psychic. So Moonblast hits it again, and Mega Slowbro goes down, and that's pretty much GG. So, uh, yeah, um, still a really close game though, especially with that Clefable, well, especially with, um, with how much, like, switch-ins we were doing and stuff. So he was switching a lot in this game, um, especially between, he was switching a lot between Mew and Escadrill, cause, um, cause, you know, I had, he had Synchronize and stuff, and I had Scold, so he could've, he was trying to, I guess, play, like, the Skull game with me, trying not to get burned, or whatever, with his Escadrill and such. So, uh, yeah, but, but uh, Clefable definitely sealed the game once, once meta was down, which actually really sucked. Um, but that meta jam was really just crazy and just went for the high jump kick right off the bat. That was, that was very well played. Um, I probably could have just made the better play and just switched into Slowbro, but anyways, that's going to be it. I will see you guys in the next Wi-Fi battle and, uh, take care.